Clabella of frontal bone. Superciliary arch of frontal bone. Supraorbital notch or foramen of frontal bone. <coughs> Coronial suture between parietal and frontal bones. Frontal sinus deep of frontal bone. Sagittal suture between parietal bones. Foramen magnum of occipital bone. Occipital condyles of occipital bone. External occipital protuberance, EOP, of occipital bone. Su inferior, superior. Nuchal lines of occipital bone. See, show them the EOP and then show them. There's the EOP and the internal occipital protuberance, e IOP, of the occipital bone. Lamboid suture between peridial and occipital bones. <coughs> Mastoid process of temporal bone. Where is it at? That's the master <coughs> process right there. Styloid process of temporal bone. It's these guys right here? Is this it? Yep. It's like the fang looking deal. Temporal squama of temporal bone. Squamous suture between peridial bone and temporal bone. Not seen here. <laughs> yeah, not seen here. Zygomatic process of the temporal bone, part of zygomatic arch. External. External auditory metis. Now we're going to open it up. Internal auditory metis. Petrous ridge. All of temporal bone. So this is the <coughs> internal auditory meatus right there? which is just above the jugular foramen. The jugular foramen. foramen. <coughs> Mandibular fossa of temporal bone. It's where the jaw connects. Jugular foramen of temporal bone. Heart-shaped. Heart-shaped. Carotid foramen canal, temporal bone. So lesser wing, yes. Mm -hmm. Greater wing of sphenoid bone. Yes, pterygoid processes yes. right and left of sphenoid bone. Cella tersica of sphenoid bone. Optic foramen of sphenoid bone. That's the optic foramen. Superior. Superior. Orbital fissure. 
of sphenoid bone. And inferior orbital fissure of sphenoid bone. Lacerum foramen of sphenoid bone. Ovale foramen of sphenoid bone. Below the ovale. Spinosum foramen of sphenoid bone. Oh, and then that one is the rotundum. This one. Rotundum foramen of sphenoid bone. Orbital fissure. The superior orbital fissure. And there's the right rotundum. rotundum. We're moving on to the ethmoid bone. Crystagalli, rooster's comb of the ethmoid bone. Just, you don't have to know rooster's comb. It just looks like a rooster's comb. <laughs> <laughs> Cribiform plate of the ethmoid bone. So it's this uh, <coughs> root here? Okay. That's the olfactory. Olfactory foramen of ethmoid bone. So that's in that little dip? On the side right here. On each side. <laughs> I'm not good at video. The middle, middle uh, conja is of the ethmoid bone, which is at the top. I don't know if this is going to help other people, but it's sure helping it's, me. It's helping me, yeah. yeah. Well, the things that <laughs> stick out be are at the top. To to <laughs> I can't freaking do this. No, you're doing great. You're doing okay, great. these are the middle conja of the ethmoid bone. These are the inferior conja of the... Eth no, not of the ethmoid. Right here, inferior <clears throat> conja. Middle conja of ethmoid. Okay, moving on. Up here, right? Anterior. Yeah. Are these the anteriors? So they grow faster. <clears throat> so, anterior. Anterior cerebral fossa. Middle cerebral fossa. <coughs> shared with the peridial, or the sphenoid bone. That's me to over here. Posterior cerebral fossa. Person of everybody cared so much. Okay. And Sarah. Uh, Sarah Beller. Sarah Beller. <laughs> Fossa. <gasps> okay, so. Anterior cerebral fossa. Middle cerebral fossa. Pos posterior. Posterior cerebral fossa. And. So Sarah, Sarah Beller fossa. Posterior, on the edges, there's kind of an indent, and cere cerebellar fossa. Moving on. Just look at the illustration in your text for the uh, fontanelles, also known as the soft spots. Now we're moving on to the facial bones.